Is this the intro? Oh, you're filming? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a model look. It was very. Guys, I'm in a video. We are back with another video. So close. It is me. We got Shelby. We got Ryan. And uh, we're doing a little bit of just uh, walleye fishing tonight, aren't we, Shelbster? The, the old Fox River. And the old Fox River. And the hope is that Shelby catches some nice fish today. And tonight, did pretty good last night. Today is a new day, much different weather. We'll kind of see what happens. I want to go into a little bit more information tonight for sure. Last night was just kind of like this chaotic, just like reeling in fish constantly and snagging lines and just all sorts of stuff going on. Today we're going to go into a little bit more information, but I think we're going to start out doing some casting. But first, it'd mean the world to me if you guys hit that subscribe button down below and uh, rode along for our walleye fishing adventure tonight. So stay tuned. We're going to get some baits tied up, start doing some pitching, Ryan. Start doing some cast and then maybe switch to trolling later tonight. Stay tuned. All right, well, we have pulled up on spot number one and uh, we're kind of fishing this little transition here. That looks something like this right here. Anytime you're fishing a real flat system like that, you guys are both looking at each other like, what's going on right now? <laughs> but uh, anytime you're fishing a system that's kind of real flat, any kind of who wants a plastic and who wants a blade bait? Blade bait. Ryan's gonna plastic. throw blade bait. Shelby's gonna throw plastic. I know that's the one you want. Yep. And uh, I'll throw the. Uh, does, you like that size, Ryan, or would you go big? Mm. What do you think? I don't know. You might want to go to a four. All right, I'm gonna go to a 3.8 inch. The tickle. The uh, tickle shad, which has been widely popular ever since I made that first video. I see many of you guys jumped on the tickle shad bandwagon which is cool to see. I've been seeing them all over Facebook, Ryan. People with pictures of them and then walleyes right next to them. <laughs> and uh, which is kind of cool, but that's the bait right there. Yeah, we're just fishing Google Eye Jig in a quarter ounce with the Kalen's Tickle Shad and Arkansas Shad. And we're sitting just on a transition in 10 feet of water, probably casting to six right now. And we are working our baits back into the current, which is always a good tip when you're fishing a river system. That didn't take long, Ryan, did it? No, it did not. <laughs> First cast. <laughs> First cast for Ryan. Did he pop it? I don't know. I just picked up and it was there. It's a nice walleye. Nice little walleye. Snake bride. Oh, there you go. Ryan is up one on the uh, blade bait right off the bat. I'd say I knew this was the hot bait before I got here, but... <laughs> Ryan said he wanted to catch one on a blade bait today. Pop the gold. Me and Mitch were out this morning, and gold was the best color blade bait, Ryan. And look how he ate that thing. Chew. Choked. Choked on the Acme V rod. And that's actually in the 3 8 ounce, the heavier size, which would lead me to believe they are just flat out going to bite for us, huh? <laughs> that's the plain stand. Need a pliers for that guy? Yeah, it's like in his <laughs> Last night when I was unhooking fish, it was so cold out, the, these pliers kept sticking to my fingers. It's <laughs> not good. Yeah, I was like, holy Sorry. cow. Yeah. So I probably. There you go. Boom. Fish number one on the board. Is it a walleye? What's that? I don't know. Did it punch it? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be ready then. Well, if it's a walleye, it's going to be big, Ryan. What are you guessing? Big one that just punched it right at the boat. I don't know what that was. That was a wild strike. <laughs> if it's a walleye, it's a stud. Which it definitely could be. What do you think we got? Oh, please be big walleye. First it was doing really weird stuff. Now it's kind of doing... <clears throat> yeah, it did like a big run kind of thing. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cheer me on, show me. It is a nice walleye. There we go, another walleye in the bag. Well, Ryan hooks up again on the gold blade bait. What do you think about that, Shelby? We have caught nothing, and Ryan has caught two. That's nice. Someone's got to catch him. Someone does have to catch him, Shelby. In the net. It's walleye master Ryan getting it done. There we go. Maybe, maybe it's walleye master Ryan. That's your new title, Ryan.
fish on. Made a little move. And right away on the old tickle tail. Look at that, Ryan. They're not that big yet, are they, though? But the hope here is, Ryan, is that once the sun goes all the way down, we put planer boards out that they get really big, right? Yeah. And I got a blade bait on, and I just got punched next to the boat and followed up the bait. Oh, you got hit right there, huh? Yeah. There we go. Little guy, but, you know, fish is a fish, Shelbster. As long as I have one more than Shelby all night, <laughs> that'll be good with me. There he goes. Back for more. Oh, very next cast, Shelbster. That one smoked it good, too. I just caught that last one. It looks looking good for you out there, Shelbster. We actually just did a little move. Right away, paying off with some bites. And not big, but you know, yesterday was, we saw a lot more big fish. I noticed today for whatever reason. A lot cloudier today, kind of a weird different wind today. Our bites have been smaller and a little bit fewer overall, but a lot of times on these tougher days, right at dark, you'll start seeing some of those really nice fish start showing up. And that one absolutely smoked it, Ryan. Is this a good time to talk about these rods, Shelby, or no? Yeah. Yeah. Boss lady says, yeah. So we'll hit them with a little light. I'll do I'll do the talking, Shelbster. Unless oh, you don't want me to? I don't know. I mean, you know, are you good at the sales pitch? No, I suck. So you guys catch me some fish. I'm going to unhook. I got to unhook the charger from my light here to give you guys a little light. But uh, you guys are probably noticing that I'm fishing with a different rod, which I almost, you guys have never seen me use before. And these are the same company that makes the Elliott rod. Two Brothers Fishing makes this rod. And this is the Genesis lineup, the 2B Genesis series um, spinning rods right here. And they're kind of a price point rod. And what I mean by that is obviously you guys have seen me use the Elliott rods for a long time. They're a really high end custom rod. Um, kind of the elite of the elite on the spectrum, right? This is kind of still phenomenal rod, still phenomenal bang for your buck, still a ton of models custom catered to the, you know, the finesse Midwest walleye fisherman or really anybody with a spinning rod. And we'll go into a bunch of these models. And I've been using these for kind of the last two weeks now and have really started liking them a lot. And uh, they're kind of, like I said, you know, if, if that, uh, that Elliott rod, um, which we've all, you know, known to know and love with the blacks, you know, the, uh, the black handle on it, super recognizable. Um, it's kind of that, that Syncork handle. If that's kind of like your high-end rod, this is that mid-level rod. Much more friendly price point, but still a great rod. Ooh, Ryan got popped right there. <laughs> and they're in stock right now. I was just talking to him the other day. Rods are in stock, ready to go. So if you guys are looking for some rods, and I'll mention a whole bunch of the models, which I really like, but still a great rod at a great price point in that Two Brothers Elliott lineup. All right, guys, well, it is time. We're going to make the switch over to trolling here slowly but surely. And we'll get the rods in the rod hold or the rod box here. And, you know, one question we always get whenever we do these videos is what planer boards are you using and how do you rig the lights on them? So that stuff's pretty simple. And the boards which I like to run are these Church Boards TX22s with the double action flag on there. It's kind of similar. You have a bite, Ryan? and this big yellow clip on the front. Now this big yellow clip is phenomenal for holding your line. No need to double wrap it with that. And the back, obviously, you just pinch it through like normal. But the lights, I put DOT tape, this bright reflective kind of high grade DOT tape, which I'm sure is super reflective from that angle. And uh, you can see it off the light. So what I do is I get a bunch of these one by one Velcro tabs right here with a sticky side on one side, stick them on the planer board. What I'll do next is I'll take these these little lights, and I'll go ahead and link the Amazon link that I use down below, because they're kind of a cool little little light. Basically what they are, these little kind of tea lights that look like this right here, like you guys can see. There's red ones and green ones, and then you put that little, the other piece of Velcro obviously on the bottom of that. As you twist them on, they kind of run on those like 20, 32 little watch batteries. And you can see, obviously there's a red one, so that one obviously goes on the left side of the boat, and you stick them right on the board like that. You can turn them off, you can turn them on, throw them right in your box, good to go. Obviously for the, the right side of the boat, so people can tell which way we're going, we take our right side board, we find a green light, and you know, same thing, stick it right on there. So, you know, not number one lets you obviously see when the board goes back. Number two, it lets people know kind of which way you're trolling and stuff like that. So that's kind of the setup right there. The Church Tackle TX22 boards, which I'll link down below, great planer board with these, these kind of big yellow lockjaw clips. 
get the baits way out to the side and then the lights on there and that's kind of our setup so i'll rig up the rest of the boards here and uh we'll get some rods got rocking and rolling all right and just like that teamwork makes the dream work here had got all of our boards out we're on a four off the left four off the right and uh We'll see what happens. I got. I hope the hope is tonight that Shelby gets the opportunity to land some big fish. What do you think, Shelby? What do you think? The hope is that you catch some studs. Yeah, I didn't catch anything casting. Shelby says, "Yeah." So, hopefully that pans out for her. So we'll turn the light back on when we get a fish. All right, guys. First board back of the night. Shelbster is hooked up. Seagulls flying all over the place. And. Uh, this one came out of scatter wrap. You know how I know that, Ryan? Because they're all scatter wraps. <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab the board here. Real, real, real. How's he feel, Shelby? Like a huge muskie. Feels like a huge muskie. I don't think it. You definitely got that. No, it doesn't feel like. You definitely tagged my other line, though. I tried hard not to. No, I didn't. That one's going back. Oh, yeah. Wow. All this. It's been a minute. Okay. All this for this fish, Shelby. I told you it wasn't big. And you snagged my other line for it. You're welcome. There we go. Little guy, number one, though. We'll get bigger tonight. We are hooked up on fish number two of the night now maybe slightly bigger than number one still not the one we came for though just keep them coming shelpster keep them coming oh look at this Ryan. oh we got another one yeah or doubled up or did that one pop off it looks like it popped off yeah he did it's all right though all right, bring the board to me, Shelbster. He's up top, so just start reeling fast. Definitely not the one we came for, is it? Nope. But it is another walleye. Oh, Shelbster, it's just a cute baby one. Anywhere else, if you're just catching a bunch of these in the spring, you're like happy. You're happy, you're happy about it. But Green Bay. here it's like, oh, it's not 29 inches long. There we go. Another one. Do you want to hold it, Shelby? You want to kiss or anything? Or just wait no, for a bigger I don't one? I need to kiss it. All right, you're good to go. Back he goes. It's kind of seeming like it, though, huh? I know it is. <laughs> well, we're, it's, we're like, well, Ryan gets the next one, and then the board goes back nice and hard. So probably a little laser fish. You never really know yet, but yeah. we'll see. Let's I gotta, see got. I'm going to turn away from him. Yeah, I kind of messed the boat angle up there for a second. Way to go, Tom. We'll be all right. So obviously when you're trolling, the basic premise, is my headlight off, Shelby? Yep, so you guys are good. The basic premise is, you know, if the outside board goes off, it goes back behind the rest, and then you bring it right up the middle of the spread. Now when you're trolling super slow into the current, sometimes you do what Ryan's doing, you just hold the rod way over here and it'll just swing that board back naturally. But he's coming in pretty far that way now, so he should be should be getting to be good. And, yeah, and that's kind of how most of the time you stay out of getting too tangled. Obviously, sometimes whenever you're trolling this many lines and going this slow, you know, flatlining crankbaits in shallow water, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna hook a fish on maybe the middle rod, it's gonna swing into the, the inside rod or something like that, but overall, not, not an issue. All right, we'll grab the board here. Teamwork makes the dream work. One guy's reeling fish in. Generally, who's ever driving's in back on clipping boards, and you got them coming in at a nice angle back here, Ryan. And it's staying down, which I like. Yeah. You let me know if it's starting to feel real. And always the deal when you're trolling is slow and steady on the reel in. Unless you catch a dink like I did. Unless you catch a really small one like Shelby, then you can just crank on it. Coming in deep, it's normally a good sign. 
Uh, he's not too bad. Look at that. You can see him coming up down there. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Oh, it's a nice chunky one. Nice chunky oh, nice. one. We're starting to slowly work our way up the totem pole here. I'll let you mess with that, Ryan. And show. Oh, he's already off in the net. I like when that happens. Nice one. Yeah, nice fat chunky one. Good work, Ryan. Good work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Back he goes. Back for more. Maybe we should do a little lure reveal on that one, on Shelfster. Wow. Yeah. He's nice and spongy. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, Ryan. I told you. I told you that one was the one. The custom. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Nice. Tom's <laughs> custom painted. That's pretty artistic, isn't yeah. it, Shelby? I'm proud of you. <laughs> All right, guys. So one big question we always get is bow control at night. How do you kind of maintain bow control the best you can? Well, there's a couple different things I do. If I'm trolling into a lot of current... I'll just drop my kicker, my 9.9 Suzuki, just put it in gear as kind of some thrust from the back so I can keep my trolling motor really low and then just control direction. So that's what I have right now. I just have the kicker down, put it in gear just to get that little thrust from the back. Then I keep my Minn Kota on and my bow mount and I use that for directions. Now there's a couple features that are really gonna help you out. I don't know, folks probably can't see that it's at really all, can bad. they? So can they see that, Shelby? Uh, it's a little better, I'm trying to. How's it look? Not good. Not good at all? No, now you can't oh. see at the light. Okay. So there's a couple features on the Minn Kota remote you can use. Number one, cruise control. So if we want to stay at 0.9, hit cruise control. That'll lock in my speed. So I'm sitting right at 0.9. If I need more thrust, the Minn Kota will automatically kick that up. The second feature I like to use is autopilot right here. So as soon as I set that autopilot, what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep me going in a consistent direction. You can also set a track, and we'll set, we'll talk about that in a different video. But if I'm just kind of free balling it like I am most time, what I'll do, good job on the light, Shelby. What I'll do is uh, you know set that autopilot so it keeps my speed locked in. Then I'll or I'll set my cruise control to keep my speed locked in, and set that autopilot to keep my direction. So if you know a big wave comes or a wind comes and it kicks the bow this way, it'll auto auto correct our direction. And then as I sit back here looking at the graph, keeping my boat right on the shallow flat I want to be on, I'll just bump it over once in a while, and that heading will kind of run me right down that flat. Great tool to use when you're trolling like this to kind of keep a lot more hands free and. Um, you know, keep you where you want to be. And I don't have to constantly be on the foot pedal or constantly be on the remote adjusting things. We can catch fish, you know, the boat stays where it is. And, you know, that's a lot of times when you catch one fish and your boat goes all over the place and all of a sudden, you know, you're not in the zone anymore. That's a lot of times, obviously, you're not going to have doubles and triples and you're not going to keep all your baits fishing. Whenever you're trolling a whole bunch of lines, keeping all your baits fishing at one time and effectively fishing is kind of the big thing that you're trying to do. That ultimately leads to catching a lot more fish. So I like to put my kicker down, keep it moving forward. If you don't have a kicker, just jack that trolling motor up a little bit more on the speed, set your cruise control, set your autopilot, and you guys are going to be staying at fish all night long. All right, Shelfster is hooked up on another one. Not crazy fast action, but I mean, how long have we been trolling for? 30 minutes? I'm going to say 45, you liar. 45? Okay. <laughs> what would you say, Ryan? Uh, Don't you just agree with her to agree with her? The over-under, probably 38. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we got a fish going oh, back. Oh, yeah, there one. it is. Tighten them up, Brian. Get them, boy, get them. Fish on. Yeah, we do. Doubled up. Oh, sorry. Oh. Holy I'm cow. <laughs> sorry, Tom. You got the long rod, I Shelby. I forgot I got the long one. All right, just crank them in, Shelbs. <laughs> crank them on in. I'm just going to grab this rod real quick and start messing with it. Not big. Oh, look at this. Jesus oh, God. <laughs> That's a better one. That's a better one. I'm scratching this fish right here. Yep. I got it, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> That's the long rod. Chaotic. Chaotic in the boat here. I think this is a nicer one. What do you think, Ryan? Just the kind of the way it went back. It felt heavier. Did you lose that? Okay, throw him back. Shelby, yep. put this board off. <laughs> Chaotic. Ryan's trying his best here. All right. Ryan, you're doing great. Ryan's doing great. Star of the, the star of the show in these videos is the cameraman. Shelby, I'm so, so sorry about this fish. Is it big? I, I don't. I don't know. It feels heavier than probably what we've caught all night so far. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous 
Here, you want, would you rather? No, 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 you get it. He's up on top, he's kind of wallowing around. And when they really get on, hard. when they get on top of your trolling, you don't, you do not want to like keep the rod way up high. You want to keep the rod down and load it up so that the, the more that fish shakes out of the water, generally the more chance they have it coming off. Are you ready, Big Shelves? He's coming in here. Big Shelves, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, he's not super big. He's a nice one, though. Don't worry about the camera too much, Ryan. We got him. Nice, smooth routine there. Look at that. It's a nice fish. What are you talking about? I thought he might have been bigger, Shelby. Shut up. I hate you. That is huge. <laughs> Well, it's kind of surreal down here, obviously. Fishing in the land of giant fish where this is just kind of like an average one. But look at that beautiful spring walleye right there. What do you think, Shelby? Like Are you excited? <laughs> there we go, we'll let him go. And do it, hopefully, a whole bunch more times tonight. All right, well, we got pandemonium here. We are running out of lines in the water. We just had like, three or four of them kind of all at the same time there. And another one went off on the inside here and I think it might be a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, Shelby, it's a little bit nicer. A little bit nicer fish than your previous ones. Bring them in over by this kicker. We got too much going on right now. There we go, Shelby. It's a little nicer one, huh? For me, yeah. And when you get in the fish, it is fast and furious, huh? Yep. Are you happy, Shelbster? I am. I like it. We'll give you guys a look here in a second. Okay, so I was out here last week and I sucked. So this is my first nice green bay walleye. Tom still says it's average, but I am happy. It's beautiful. Nice, let me take a picture of you. Yeah. Now I've been finished setting up from that last one, and yep. we got another one on. Ryan's hooked up. Here's the board. Come to Poppy. It's tight, Ryan. It is tight. It's real oh, tight. It's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. Fisher's starting to fight. Kind of seems like it, doesn't it? Oh yeah. You like what it's doing? Where'd my net end up? Over by Shelby. So you want me to grab it? Where did the net end up? How's the footage look, Shelby? It looks spectacular. Looks spectacular, I like to hear that. This is kind of doing, oh, Shelbster outside rod. This is a nice fish, Ryan. Yeah, it feels decent. I feel the head shaking a little bit. It's a nice fish, nice fish, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Oh, he just ate, ate the bait. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Another stud daddy. Let's see it. Top out, there you go. Oh, yeah. Another beautiful green bay wallet. That belly. Chubby, chubby girl. <laughs> what do you bite, Ryan? <laughs> That's that custom. Your huh? custom one. The nail polish. <laughs> oh, we're tripled. Oh, boy. All right, let's oh, okay. we lost the triple. We lost it. Still rolling there, Shelby? Yeah, I'm filming him Sounds good. Okay, Ryan, oh. This one's not as big as Ryan's. Not as big, so we're just gonna horse him. Anywhere else, a respectable fish here, small. Tiny. Big. But orange, orange scatter wrap getting the job done out there on the outside. There we go. Nice walleye. Back he goes. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for tonight. We would like to troll longer because it's pretty nice out, but, Ryan, we got lightning. Huge lightning storm yeah. coming from the south. It's going to be like a lightning snowstorm i think in, in about 10 minutes here. there's lightning coming down it's supposed to be freezing rain tonight pretty nasty but overall can't complain too much quick little night out on the water shelby caught some nice walleyes 
one nice one. You caught fish though. I know. I'm not complaining. Ryan caught some nice fish. We all caught fish, so it was a good night. Appreciate you guys watching this video. We'll be filming a whole bunch more stuff, you know, over the course of the whole well, walleye season, I guess. I don't know why I always leave it there, end with that, but uh, stay tuned for more content. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already. We'll see you guys next time.